Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Lexi, and today we are going to be continuing The Boys Season 2, Episode 3, Over the Hill with the Swords of a Thousand Men. That was a lot. <laughs> uh, but anyways, last episode, um, again, so much crazy went down. First of all, let's talk about the deep, because that was weird <laughs> what he's going through, but... He took some shrooms, was tripping out, and his gills started to talk to him and walk him through self-discovery, basically, and learn to love himself. Really strange. So that's what he's been working through. Starlight uh, was still in the process of like getting the, the compound V from her like Bible study group uh, friend back in the day, um, but A-Train intervened, so he's back into the picture now uh, in this new season. He's good as new basically. Um, I think he's clean. I don't think he's uh, shooting up any more Compound V, but he is on the whole episode. He was on Starlight's trail trying to get her basically fired or killed or whatever from Vought for helping Huey and the boys with everything. But she comes right back fighting fire with fire and basically says that I know you killed Popclaw and it's not gonna be great if everyone starts to find out that it was you. So yeah, use that against him. He gave the V back to her. So she's trying to get a hold of Huey, um, trying to get the V, get the compound V to him. And then speaking of Huey, Huey and Butcher are like not on the greatest terms right now. There's like a lot of talk of like Huey becoming the leader of this group, but um, no matter what, he is part of the group, but you can't really kick him out anymore because simultaneously everyone is like, no, this is our core group now, including Kimiko. Butcher, we, we get more insight on like what the heck happened to him. And basically he only saw his wife for just a little bit, wasn't able to talk to her. So he's still trying to make his way back to her somehow because now he knows that she's alive and she's had a kid with Homelander and she, she, he thinks that he's like being, she's being jailed by Vought or whatever, but from her perspective, it seems like she asked Vought to keep her in a safe place where Homelander cannot find her anymore. But unfortunately, Homelander does know where she lives now and made a deal, and Homelander and Becca made a deal where if Homelander can be with his child, Butcher can stay alive, basically. So that's the deal that she made with him. So she's dealing with that right now. And then we also find out that this, the terrorist that gets smuggled into the States um, is actually Kimiko's brother. And he has this telekinesis superpower and he is on a mission for these terrorists. He's like completely all in with their goal and their mindset. Um, he's a terrorist, not like he is a terrorist. And so uh, him and Kimiko kind of butt heads, but she was able to like knock him out and um, restrain him, detain him basically. And so now the boys has his, him all tied up or duct tape, uh, duct taped, I'm trying to see. And also we got more insight on like what Stormfront is all about and her deal and what she's like as a superhero. And Stormfront isn't really into the whole marketing, wanting to be a very nice, good citizen for, of America type of front. Uh, she's just genuinely unapologetically herself and like i said breath of fresh air love that she seems really cool mave's ex-girlfriend ended her ended up in the hospital and so and mave was like her emergency contact so she went to go visit her and finally spilled the beans on like why she was so distant and flip floppity with like them and their relationship and uh, why she had to end things that kind of thing and it's basically like homelander has this possessive mindset or has this possessive thing over Maeve that if any words get word gets out about her ex-girlfriend, someone that she loves and cares so much about, Homelander will take that away from her one way or another. And, she, or the fear of that uh, is what was weighing down Maeve as much as possible. And she's, you know, petrified by him and uh, his capability to just make her life a hell. So she finally spilled the beans uh, of that to her ex-girlfriend and so, I don't know where that's gonna lead, um, but that was basically the recap of last episode. A lot happened again. The reunion between Kimiko and her brother was like super emotional, uh, but I'm more than ready to jump into this next episode now. But before we do, 
Make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. It would mean the absolute world to me if you could be a part of making this channel grow. If you want to watch this video full length unedited as well as early access to more of the boys reactions, my Patreon link is in the description below, tiers 2 and 3. And without further ado, let's jump into season 2 of the boys, episode 3, Over the Hill with the Swords of a Thousand Men. It's such a mouthful for a, an episode title, but it'll probably make sense once we jump into it. Piano Man! Oh, just kidding. He's just listened to Billy Joel nonstop. So, um... Ooh, an apology? Sorry? <laughs> He's not good at those. <laughs> They're on a boat. <clears throat> oh, he fell. Hey, 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 hey. You ever hear of an old soup called Liberty? All I gotta say, Butcher does have a bunch of red flags, but if I could find a man as devoted to me as him, I'd be wearing rose-tinted glasses all day, baby. The target is the girl's brother? You don't think it compromises her allegiances? If it comes to that, I'll neutralize her. The compassion you show your team is truly touching. He won't do it. I mean, he will, but they'll stop him. <laughs> that glare. How's no one seasick? Growing up in Alaska, we had to like go fishing all the time, and <sighs> that was rough. That was rough. If like even the waves were a little bit choppy, I was like puking off the side. Like I wouldn't even have breakfast, and I'd still find a way to puke up something. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like the ominous music with like the touching moment. Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. He's fine. Oh, panic attack. Just served. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Love it. Does he wear anything except for the costume? <laughs> Homelander turns to the other heroes. We should work together more often. In I wonder if like uh, these are real drawings from the original comic comics. Let me know in the comments below if that's um, if that's what this is. So they're just kind of like inserting some of the comic pages, or at least the the drawings, how they're drawn in the comics. Uh, is what's depicted in, right now in the scene. That'd be really cool if it was. Dawn of the Seven, cut to black. <laughs> Lynn manuel Miranda wants to do the voice. I love Hamilton! The world loves Hamilton! Oh my god, do you think he'll do Excuse it? me! I'm sorry to interrupt. No, yeah, what about her? I just want... what, are we, what are we thinking? Oh, um, like, uh... You write all women as either unknowable Hitchcock bitches or Michael Bay fuck dolls. I mean, I get that a lifetime of jerking off to Transformers didn't exactly make you popular as a lady. <laughs> but Homelander really loves this script. Yes. So. Oh, okay. Where is he? You, I you don't have the faintest idea where Homelander is. He will know when I want him to know. Just keep the rest of the infants on 99 in check, will you? The infants. Damn, she is not handling this position. Not born, but made, in fact, created by a chemical serum compound V produced. And it oh, sh**. What did you do? I don't know what you're talking about. And you let me walk away with it. So, <laughs> this is kind of on you two. If I go down, you come with me. Pretty sure they'd kill us both. <laughs> we don't fuck with the money. You know the only people that say that are the people who grew up with money. Ooh. When you aren't struggling to make it men uh, ends meet, you start to uh, 
twiddle your thumbs and find other things that you can afford your time with. I mean, in theory, it's true. Like, there are definitely more things important than money, but at the end of the day, what are the two things that humans inevitably have to deal with in their life? Death and taxes. Those are the two things promised to them. In a utopia world where maybe in the afterlife, if, if the kingdom of God is real, yeah, money isn't an issue. There are more important things. And, in, and yeah, that's true. But at the end of the day, we live in a world that is just powered through money. And if you aren't a literal superhero with superpowers, it ain't gonna get, it's not gonna change in a day. Probably won't even change in your lifetime. You gotta gradually break that wheel. If you want that wheel to be broken. And not everyone wants that wheel to be broken. I'm not trying to get all f philosophical, but it would be nice. If you didn't have to worry about money and can think on other things, <laughs> would be nice. <laughs> Beach, aquarium, red lobster. I thought I was going crazy. No. That is pretty sad, though. Like constantly oh, hearing animals suffer twenty four seven. But I was born this way. But it wasn't. No. It didn't have to be this way. He didn't have to have gills. It could have been normal. Oh, Black Noir. Oh my god, he's breaking my heart. We did it. Um, call me, call me back when you get a chance. This news comes did this? Just as this company was taking in record uh, yeah. Starlight did, mostly. Pretty sure, but I just gave her an old... Uh oh, why is this bad? Why is this really bad? No, what? Oh! <gasps> I thought he was, I thought this was bad for a second. It gave me a heart attack. I was like, no, what now? What now? Don't flip a switch on me, MM. I hope Butcher doesn't come in and get really mad about this. What you fucking did? Oh my god. touching your tips. Look at what the kid just did. Me and Starlight, but yeah. The fucking kid. Oh, oh shit. Uh, I don't think Butcher's gonna be happy about no, this. No, no, no. Or is he? Nice one. Oh, good. That's all you got? We got a soup terrorist below deck. And shit can go sideways just like... That was a good snap. Good job, Huey. I'll give you that. Oh, yeah. Good job. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> you did great. He's doing more in the short amount of time than Butcher's track record, if I'm being honest. <laughs> that I know Isn't of. Is great? Um, ready for... Is he gonna push him off the cliff? To jump. Uh... Oh, okay. I thought they were, like, on top of the cliff. Wait, you can't be serious. I'm not gonna jump. Ryan, you're my son. You can fly. Just like me. Can he actually fly? Please don't make me jump. Oh. Don't push him. You call me dad. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Ryan. I need you to wake up, baby. Can oh my god! <laughs> Fuck. What the- I'm like laughing out of shock right now. <laughs> I'm his father. You don't get to say that after what you did! What I did to you was give you a son. He's mine. Get your hands off of her! Ooh. Good boy. I told you. Uh... Just like me, Ryan. No, I'm not like you. I'm nothing like you. I fucking hate you. Leave us alone. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm not angry. No, you just pushed him off a damn house roof. That's not being a father, idiot. If you want to go down the masculine roles in a household with a father, you, you protect your kids. Is that a rebel? Damn. You giving a soup energy? The way you talk with your sister is no sign language I ever seen. That's what I was thinking. It didn't look like it didn't look like sign language to me either. I can help her the night our parents are murdered. Oh wow, he speaks really People good English. Just stop talking. Yeah, she's mute. Can't talk. We wow. Came up with a language. Aww. So we could get through it. That's so cool. Will you teach me? What? Why would he do that? I think he needs water, bro, not Red Bull. <laughs> I think your sister is very special. And she loves you very much. Oh, 
He can use telekinesis to move that over with his mind, right? Oh no, he needs his hand for it a little bit. Yeah. Cool. Oh no, he's making a knife. Or just at least a sharp object. Maybe this is her chance to leave while we can. If we do Can't believe that, the info's out. Like, happen. they all know. Uh, interrupting, am I? No, of course not. Great. What, what is this? What is he doing? <laughs> Sometimes it, um, just seems like you're the only person I can lean on. I feel the same way. Of course. Who's Elena? Elena's <sighs> an old friend. Since when do you have friends? I was just venting about all this fucking bullshit. What bullshit? Oh, he doesn't know. But you haven't heard? Where have you been? This report is stolen and you're all under arrest. Oh. I'm holding papers signed by the owner for the lease of this vessel. So it must be some kind of misunderstanding. Look out! Whoa! Oh no! Ooh, he is like really powerful. Not only did he push a helicopter in the midair, but he also like crunched it at the same time. Let's convert him to our team. <laughs> we need more Spice Girls. Deep, it's time. Time for what? For you, it's your time to get back into the seven. What? This came from Alistair himself. Alistair Donnelly, the leader of the church. He sits in the first chair. Cool. My dad always used to say, where there's smoke, there's fire. So, Bot lied to us about Compound B. God, Starlight, I can't believe you did this. Option one, deny. High risk, high reward. But if we deny and they nail us, if there's a legit whistleblower, there's no coming back. Option two, may call pub. They've called it. Trading's halted. We gotta put out a statement. Which one is it? Oh? Why is he smiling? Where do you want us to go? CIA safe house Hazlitt. Hey, uh, hey Annie, it's me again. I was just wondering, have you ever seen the... The, music the Billy Joel video, music? The Billy Joel song, You're Only Human? And now I, I feel like I'm, I'm that kid. Oh no! And I'm gonna drown. And... <gasps> no! And thank God I found my second win because it's, it's you. Whoa! You're my second win. But you gotta be careful because that stuff can go to shit really quick. I know but from experience. That you, that's all I wanted to say. Stop calling her though. Second win. They're gonna find you. Um, but times like this tend to give us clarity. Is the statement going to be like the terrorists brought Compound V over or something? We'll be eating alive out there. There's no time for that. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think we have to damage control your fuck up. Ooh. Hey guys. We gotta pull together here. Thank it's you. his mess. Not you. Us. Ooh. The seven. You guys. You are my real family. So let's get out there and do what it is we do. Stormfront is liking this. Should I take it back from liking Stormfront? It seems to be that she likes the real ongoings that happens with superheroes, not like, I, I understand she doesn't like the nice front. So maybe this isn't good for us. <laughs> that was the deep, wasn't it? We get to see him like actually fight. Oh, ooh, interesting. Ooh, okay, good. They haven't second foot. That he's riding a whale? That's crazy. That's actually so cool. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, Butcher likes this. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 Butcher! You know, I really like sea life. Oh, it's still alive. 
What happened to him? Okay, you guys go ahead. You guys go ahead. I'm good. <laughs> Come on. Get your fucking hands off of me! He's like inside of a whale right now. Come on, <laughs> yourself. Come on, let's go. Pinocchio, stay in put. Have at it. I really like whales. I'm just like so in shock about what I'm looking at right now. We just need to keep our shit together a little bit longer. Okay? You is not gonna make it. And you need that kid. More than any one of us. Ooh. He's your canary. What canary? You let your canary die. How you gonna know when you're gone too far? You're saying they're not alone. I think so. All right, did you get a good look at them, or? Not really. Ooh, what is I'm Starlight gonna do? I'm going to do everything in my power to renew my light. Mm. Just, just pop him you, in the face. The there is no fucking way you're coming back. There's no need for language. All right, enough. <laughs> we do not have time for this. Look, I am with you, sister, but first we have to go get the terrorist, okay? All right, everyone in the tunnel. No, oh, no, I liked Stormfront. Anyone gets eyeballs on the target? He's mine, understood? All right, you need to hang back a bit, okay? Okay. So we've got some work to do with the ladies, but it's gonna be okay. We'll be back in no time. <laughs> One other thing, you, uh, you ripped your best. What? Your gill is showing. Cover it up. It's disgusting. Oh, all that work he did. Just have Homelander say that. Damn. <sighs> I don't. This will make my heart start to burst. Oh shit, he can hear something. Oh no, oh no. Is it gonna be Starlight? Please be Starlight. Damn. Is it her? Good. Annie, I. Oh, he was there too. I'd like you to do something for me, okay? Kill him. Kill him. Fuck. N n he, he's wanted. Shouldn't we take him to the police? Yes, he is. Yes, we should. Kill him. Right now. Chicks, right, Huey? Oh, for God's sakes. Come Don't on. let your canary die. Hands Come on. Air. Okay. You kill him, or I'll fucking kill you both. Do it. Come on, Butcher. Do something. Anything. Boy, cunt. William? <laughs> what a surprise. Dang, you know, good. Good Not dang, I mean, yay. <laughs> Eat this motherfucker. He could fly though. That was incredible. Well, she's like, gotta go after him now. Awesome! Well, we stall, we're stalling him, but we gotta go. No god. Hey guys! <laughs> oh shit! Whoa! No way! She just killed the other people too? Okay, uh, I was so wrong about Stormfront. I apologize. Okay, here's the thing. Like, I still like Black Noir because he does his job and it's chill. But then when it comes to like the kids and stuff, he lets them free, lets them go. She just killed everyone in her path. Just because like maybe it was a nuisance or annoying. And she just killed them, right? Well, it was kind of off screen, so you don't really know for sure, but I think she did. Um, yeah, that's just killing civilians because they're in your way. Nah, no, no thank you. Uh, 
Yeah, this is way different. <laughs> She's like, she is unhinged. What is she doing? <gasps> what the fuck is she doing? Good. No, don't kill him. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I like to see the light go out. <laughs> Fucking yellow bastard. That was foreshadowing when they were together and she said like i stole a bag of rice for you blah 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 and he's like i also remembered like when you got caught um or whatever i did something and my hands got broken for you so that was definitely foreshadowing to this moment oh my god and homelander is gonna love it match made in heaven holy sh i said he was mine you snooze you lose gramps i thought he was gonna like her but it didn't seem like that we are uh, conducting yes. a robust investigation into Compound V. I had no knowledge whatsoever. We believe it was the work of a small, disaffected group of scientists led by former Vault employee, Madeline Stilwell. Oh, dragging her name in the dirt. Damn. So they're back square one, basically. Death toll would have been much higher had it not been for the brave actions of our new yeah. hero. Yeah, Stormfront. Stop the terrorist before he can take more innocent lives. Uh, I don't want to she took so many innocent lives during that. God, I was so wrong about her. <laughs> uh, look at her. Is she gonna? Thank you. But we all know who the real heroes of this group are, right? The people you see behind you. The people who are struggling every day. So let's give them all a hand. Okay, so she's playing this facade now, too. I thought she was all about, like, keeping it real, yo. Ooh. Okay, little rivalry between the two. I thought they were gonna get along. Oh, Kimiko's not having it. Ooh. All right, you guys, so that was episode three, season two of The Boys. Um, and first off, I just gotta say, I was so wrong about Stormfront. I thought she was really cool at first. I think like the show was trying to mislead you to think that, or at least like you thought like, oh wow, th this is like a brand new person who doesn't want to be all fake and actually wants to do good in the world and all this kind of stuff. Like I was excited about that. Starlight was excited about it and then now we know she is basically the female version of ha Homelander. So yeah, not good. Not very cool. It's kind of a rivalry between the two is starting to brew. I was like literally in shock, like how many casualties just to get that one terrorist. She seems pretty strong too. Okay, so anyways, uh, we see the group on a boat together and um, they're trying to find like a specific location that Mallory told them to go uh, to get help or whatever. The Deep uh, finally, after like the whole compound V was exposed by Starlight, the Deep uh, finally joined the Seven. And um, during this crazy like boat chase, he tries to stop. He finds the group in the middle of the ocean, tries to stop them, but uh, they ran like straight through the whale he was riding on on the beach. <laughs> And um, Huey is just not, was not looking good like the whole episode. It's just like slowly his insanity just, he was like snapping. Like his insanity was like almost gone by the end of the episode. He was like, just put one leg in front of the other in the tunnel, like no thought in his mind or just like in complete, like he was gone. But yeah, probably the biggest thing is that Starlight exposed Compound V to the public. So now everybody knows, the soups know, and the public know that this is not God's work, but instead comes from a bottle. We also see more interactions with Homelander and his son, and you could just see like the destruction that he's <laughs> like he's already making with this relationship that he has with his son. And um, his son like outwardly says he hates him, and 
he like tried to get him to fly and like pushed him off the roof off the house and knocked him out and it was just not good not fun uh and yeah and then the end of it all uh stormfront ended up killing kimiko's brother so now kimiko has a vengeance against stormfront so we'll probably see these two duel each other once again later in the future which i am especially excited for as much as i love to hate stormfront she is a pretty badass character so far uh and i love that she's butting heads with homelander about top dog around here um so that's it's just entertaining to watch for sure this episode was just super fast, super shocking, um, a lot of action, so much action, and it was painful to see uh, Kimiko's brother go the way that he did. And like I said, the foreshadowing about breaking the hands and uh, everything to protect his sister and trying to be there for each other. And then it happens once again, so. Um, and then also A-Train is still like having like heart problems. We keep seeing him trying to run really fast and just wasn't working. And Homelander like almost made Starlight kill Huey. And Huey was like accepting it. He's like, damn, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die from the hands of my lover. <laughs> like he was ready to go. So hopefully Huey will be a lot more okay in the head the next episode, but so fingers crossed for that, but we will have to see. Yeah, also by the end of the episode during like the press thing where uh, Stormfront like says their little spiel in front of everyone. The CEO also mentioned, uh, he basically threw um, Stillwell under the bus about comp under the bus about Compound B, had her take the blame because uh, she's dead. So, you know, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? So he said he had no idea about Compound B and it was all Stillwell's doing, you know, so her whole plan of everything. Yeah, and it seemed like the boys are back to square run, square one where they're uh, hiding down, all still wanted, and it's just not looking good for them. And uh, the CEO like, saved everyone's butts at the end of there with a statement to the public. So we will have to see where it unfolds from here. Um, Butcher is still on his mission to find his wife, at least talk to her, uh, get to her. MM still is trying to get to his family. Huey is doing Huey things, I don't know, probably having more panic attacks. And uh, yeah, Kimiko is fuming, absolutely fuming, glaring at the TV. So yeah, I'm excited to see what the next episode's all about. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on videos like this one. It would mean the absolute world to me if you could be a part of making this channel grow. And if you wanna watch this full length unedited, uh, my Patreon link is in the description below, tiers two and three, as well as early access to more of the boys' reactions. So definitely check that out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.